Now, first on the agenda tonight is Chromadex, a Redshift client company. This is an innovative natural products company that provides proprietary ingredients and science-based solutions to the dietary supplement, food and beverage, animal health, cosmetic, and pharmaceutical industries. I first gave you this company about a year ago, 60, 70 cents. In 2014, this stock ran all the way to, I think, a little over $2. Today, it's about $140, $150. Now, Dr. Phil Frost, the billionaire healthcare investor, owns a large equity stake in this company, always a good sign. One year ago, again, the stock was trading at 63 cents. Today, again, 140, 150. It has appreciated over 130% in the last 12 months, but I think it still has a long way to go. Find out more about Chromadex at redchip.com. Now, let's go to an interview with the CEO, Frank Jask. Welcome back. You've been very busy since your last time on the show. What can you tell us about your recent agreement with Five Links? So the, the Five Links agreement uh, that we put out about uh, last a month ago now is uh, regarding a licensing deal regarding a, a fairly significant licensing deal regarding uh, both Niagen and Pure Energy ingredients that we have in our pipeline. So Five Links is a, a, a multi-level marketing or sometimes we're also referred to as a network marketing company. And that's a great uh, first deal for us in the sense that these companies uh, in the stage that Five Links is in right now stand to generate you know, tremendous revenue at, and have tremendous uh, revenue growth associated with stuff like these nutritional products or dietary supplement types of, types of products. And Five Links is transitioning now into the health and wellness space and they're going to be utilizing two of our ingredients as their platform, Niagen and Pure Energy essentially are going to be a significant portion of the platform and then developing a health and nutrition business basically through uh, what I'll refer to as a network marketing channel. So it should be a huge, huge success for us moving forward. Earlier this year, you announced the addition of a new board member, Steve Allen, who used to be with Nestle. Uh, can you tell us a little about the value he brings to the company? Um, well, Steve Allen is a next Nestle M&A guy, a long-term career with Nestle. So he has a strong understanding of the market. Um, I've known Steve through various, you know, market engagement uh, conferences or what have you over the past few years. And, uh, he, he understands the market. He understands where Chromadex fits into the market. Um, he also has a, a firm understanding of how business transactions occur within you know, large companies. And that's going to be very helpful for us moving forward. As, as we start to monetize our ingredient technologies, we're going to need to understand uh, the, the types of deals that we're going to be working on engaging with in terms of our customer base. And he's going to be very helpful for us uh, as, as we uh, move forward in, in striking more licensing agreements with, with other larger companies, which is something that we foresee in the future. Let's talk about your ingredient pipeline. Uh, what projects are you currently working on, and what's the status? So, the, you guys probably already know that you know the story for a while. So, the the ingredient uh, business, the nominal ingredient business, is new for Chromadex. Still. I mean, we've only been doing this now for about three, uh, coming up on four years this year in terms of. Terapure was the first ingredient that we rolled out, and we rolled out now. Last year was a critical year for us because we rolled out two important ingredient technologies in our pipeline. Uh, we launched Pure Energy in March of 2013, and we rolled out uh, Niagen, uh, nicotinamide riboside, in May of 2013. So, you know, in the past three years, or three years ago, we only had one ingredient. Today, we have four. Um, Pro-C3G and Anthocyan is the only other one that I haven't mentioned that, we, that we've rolled out so far. But uh, again, we've, we've shown good progress in executing on our business model, which is licensing intellectual property from, from prestigious universities, and then using that to, to roll out novel ingredients based on those platforms, continuing to develop the science, developing a brand, and then rolling out a branded ingredient. And, I think we've executed very well on that, and I think the market is responding to that as well. In the sense that we're we're doing what we say we're we're, we're we we say what we're going to do, and then we do it, and and we have been doing that and executing now for for about three or four years on that front. You had some uh, clinical study results on Pure Energy in September. Uh, tell us a little about those results. So the the first human study that we put out. Um, on Pure Energy was we released those the results of that study in September 
Um, essentially what it showed is that we pure energy as a comparison to standard caffeine delivers about 30 percent more caffeine to the blood than ordinary caffeine does so it delivers more efficiently it delivers caffeine to the blood the half-life meaning how long it stays in your blood was was extended by about 25 percent at four hours we showed that there was 45 percent more caffeine from pure energies compared to normal caffeine. And at six hours, we showed 51% more caffeine as a comparison to ordinary caffeine. So the, t the take home message in terms of what that means in terms of uh, the clinical study, again, we're the only one I know of, by the way, that has human clinical data um, on a caffeine alternative at this point. And the story for us was, was critical in the sense that um, it shows that you can actually use less caffeine in the form of, of pure energy. And the data supports up to 50% reduced amount of caffeine as a comparison to ordinary caffeine, but yet deliver the same benefit or the same effects as, as essentially twice the amount of ordinary caffeine. And we believe that story resonates very well right now with a market that in the energy beverage world, uh, it's under pressure. And we believe that pressure is going to continue and caffeine reduction is going to be uh, a, a big deal moving forward. In summary, why should investors take interest in Chromadex today? Well, th there's a lot of reasons, and you know the, the stock has performed very well over the past 12 months, and you know largely it's performed extremely well since we've launched Niagen last May, and we've had a couple other important catalysts uh, come out over the past six months. Uh, DSM took a significant equity stake in the company uh, that we announced in October. That was a, a huge deal for us in the sense that it was a tremendous validator of not only our ingredient technologies, but also the, the way that we accumulate the intellectual property in our business model, actually. It's a strong validator of that as well. And so moving forward, uh, you know, even though the this, this stock has is, is moved quite a bit over the past six months in particular, you know, there's a, there's still a lot of upside in, in, in the stock uh, from Chromadex executing now. So we've done, we've announced a lot of good things over the past six months. Now it's time for us to start showing signs of monetizing. And that's the types of things that you're going to see more of these five links type deals. And uh, I mean, in my, in my opinion, I think that five links was actually just an appetizer to what you can expect much bigger deals coming from from Chromadex regarding the licensing bar technology, which will prove that we're on the path of monetizing these technologies in a very big way. And if we do that effectively, the, the, you know, essentially, we're a value play at this, at this price level that we're at, even with the stock moving up the way that it has. Thank you, Frank, for joining us once again. Uh, it's been an exciting story for us to watch, and we hope to see a continued execution by you and your management team. Thanks for having me today. My value proposition for Chromadex, an extensive pipeline of products based on their proprietary ingredient technologies. Their pure energy addresses a 100 million plus market opportunity in the energy beverage market alone. And Niagen has the potential to be a next generation, no flush version of niacin. 2011, Abbott generated about 1 billion in sales on their Niaspan, similar product in the pipeline for Chromadex. This is a red chip client company. We do receive a monthly cash fee and we have received 100,000 shares of rule 144 stock for 12 months of service. Now, to get a complete list of all the stocks in the red chip nation, sign up for the red chip small stocks, big money weekly report, it's free. You'll discover some of the best names in small cap stocks, complete with reports, news, small cap lessons, blogs, analysis, all on the smaller cap sector. Visit us now, redchip.com or call us. 1-800-RED-CHIP. Sign up for the Red Chip Plus Investor Package. It's only $9.99 a month, money back guaranteed. And you'll get my book, Microcap Superstars, interviews with the biggest names in smaller cap stocks. Learn the secrets of the pros. You'll also get all of our research profiles and reports 24 hours before the general public. You have early access to each episode of the Red Chip Money Report before it airs on Fox Business and Bloomberg and access to all Red Chip virtual conferences. The right to speak with our specialists Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Ask them any question about any stock in the nation. Give us a call right now, 1-800-RED-CHIP or visit redchip.com for Red Chip Plus.